Okay, today, happy Tuesday by the way, we got a little bit of some speed work today. It's about an hour and a half workout. It's like 10 minute warm up and then three minutes on, one minute off. So three minutes at like 7.30 to eight minute pace and then one minute off, 15 times. So that's an hour total. And then like a five to 10 minute warm down. So my buddy Kyle's gonna come meet me. We're gonna do it. Gotta hit a little bit of an early one today. It's only seven because of the podcast. So my family is still having their coffee. Trying to get that bowel movement going. So I'm a little early for them this morning. Oh my God, I had an amazing, amazing run this morning. I know I didn't film any of it because my buddy Kyle came and we haven't seen each other in a while. We just talked the entire time. 10 miles, hour and a half, I think nine minute average pace, whole time. Negative splits the whole time and we were just talking. So it felt strong, was not tired, just it flew by, it was so sick. I love runs like that. So I didn't film any of it because I'm not gonna bust it. You know, we're having incredible conversation. I'm not gonna be like, hey, my bugger. I know I should. I was good at doing this. I, I would do that, but I didn't. Hey, man, you gotta, sorry, I know, you know, you gotta have proof that this, you know? But you gotta take my word for it. It was amazing. And now, guess what I'm doing? I just honked. That guy thought I honked at him, I think. I'm getting the Iron Man tattoo. Finally! It's been what? May, June, July, August. Three and a half months since the race. And I'm, which actually I feel like is pretty, pretty soon. I feel like most people wait longer. I don't know. I don't know. I'm here. I'm getting it. Iron Man tattoo is happening and I'm still trying to figure out where it's going to go. I don't know. I think an ankle maybe. I feel like a lot of people get it on the side of their leg. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta see. My brother-in-law is getting the hundred, the logo of the hundred miler he did. He's getting that tatted on him. So we're here. Uh, at the studio of the guy who did this one. Gorgeous Neasy is his name, shout out to him. Go to him if you want good tattoos. So let me take you with me, <laughs> come on. <sighs> hey, one second. It's a happy, happy Wednesday. We're doing some speed work. It's three minutes on, one minute off. And I just had three minutes. The entire thing was that big ass hill. Oh, so I ran it, it's like 7.55 pace. I'm done feeling it. And now I gotta start again in 10 seconds. Fuck. Here's my dad, he's with me. I feel like maybe the Iron Man tattoo is giving me some new powers though. I'm feeling strong, let's go. Just finished number seven out of 15. How are you feeling? <laughs> Do I look noticeably different oh, with yeah, the tattoo? Yeah, yeah. Is it intimidating to you when you see? You look like a stud. I just want to make sure I don't scare people when I well, run by them. I feel like the paparazzi is going to like be out and about because I got this, you know? Sometimes when I wear the shirt, people take pictures of me, but now it's like permanently on my leg, so I'm worried they'll just never stop following me around. Shirt? They take pictures of you in your, in your No, my shirt. Iron Man Australia <laughs> shirt. Okay. We got three more left. We're starting to get a little bit longer now. <laughs> like it feels like a little bit longer. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what it's time for, all right? It's time for an element. Oh, hello, what's that? Who is it? Oh, it's hydration. No, that was bad. That was bad. Uh, it's my favorite hydrating drink mix on the phone. Would you like to speak to them? Element, the sponsor of today's video. I love them. I love this product. I love it. It is extremely important to replenish electrolytes when you're working out or when you're doing anything else that depletes them. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with none of the junk. No sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no filler, no BS. When you sweat, the primary electrolyte that you lose is sodium. Athletes can lose up to seven grams per day. And when you run out of sodium, that's when your body starts to experience cramps and you get fatigue in your muscles and it's just the worst feeling. So replenish that with this, a thousand milligrams of sodium right there, boom. I'm gonna try out the citrus right now. Oh, that is what I'm truly talking about. This stuff tastes so good, I love it. You can taste the sodium, which I love, because I love salty stuff, especially when you're working out, you just crave that, so it just tastes so good, either during or right after a workout. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets for free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a friend, for example. So get yours at drinklmnt.com slash Cody. And this deal is only available through that link, so you can hit it in the description or just go to drinklmnt.com slash Cody. All right, back to the video. Morning. It is Thursday and, uh, ooh, 
we're out we're on the trail we're doing the whole thing today so it's gonna be 12 miles with like 3,000 feet or something like that right now we're on the uh I'm on the back side so going down about four and a half miles in my legs are feeling washed from the last couple days I'm going heavy on volume and speed so that's good though I'm catching up two and a half hours in 9.6 miles i'm feeling it man it's like 5,000 degrees out just about out of water i got one little suckle left in the in the water teat that i'm wearing these are called water teats right it's our utter endurance utter we should make our own versions of these They're called utters it's got this little nipple on the end yeah water teat running utters hello so I haven't been um, filming much this week. I've just been spending time with the family, but I wanted to update you on the training that's been happening because it's been, a, it's been a lot that's been happening. I'm at almost nine hours for the week. What's 29 plus six or 29 plus eight, 37, 37 miles so far this week. It's Saturday. I'm at almost nine hours of training this week. So this is the biggest week since for a long time. Uh, Wednesday did a, did a 12 mile hike, took almost three hours, almost 3000 feet climbed. That was a big one. It was more of a run, like trail run, hike up, trail run down. And then yesterday I uh, took the day to do a bike ride or it's like a ride on the trainer just to get my legs a break. And now today we're doing two fast 5Ks. So that should be another like six, seven miles. And then maybe tomorrow we'll do a long run. And that'll be a solid fucking week of training. That'll be like the first real, real deposits. Real Badman. <laughs> real running deposits. So yeah, caution, the boys are cooking. Whoops. <laughs> so that's the update. So that's what we're gonna do. Two fast 5Ks, let's go. Fucking dreading this. I'm gonna aim for about eight minutes a mile on each one. The, tr the calendar says 7.30. But I'm I'm not there yet. I don't think I don't think I can do that. This has to be the hardest. The hardest speed workout is 5K. But like I mean I guess I'm running at 7:41, so it's pretty good on the second of two. But like the first one I was at like eight minute miles, and I was struggling. I was like I gotta run a fucking whole marathon at this pace in order to do 3:30. Oh my god, we gotta dial in. Second interval right now, running at 7:49 pace. I have one mile left. Every part of me wants to stop right now. I'm just deep, deep in the cave. Just trying to do everything I can not to stop. And we're gonna make it. We're gonna do it today. Point one left. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Point seven, point oh six, I mean. Point zero three left. Come on, we got this. We do. Listen to the beat. Three, four. Uh, uh, 24 minute 5k fuck yeah let's go we're getting back oh let's fucking go Good morning. It's Sunday. And it's the Sunday that the hurricane is supposed to hit. The storm is supposed to hit today. I don't really know what to expect. We're supposed to get like a year's worth of rain in a day or something. I don't know, a lot of uncertainty right now. But what is what is certain for today is that I'm gonna get some miles in. I'm gonna log some fucking miles. And a uh, little part of my little part of me wants to do 15 this morning. So I would love to knock off 15. That would put me at 60 for the week. Woo! Gives me, gives me a little, gives me the, the goose pimples just saying that 60 miles for the week. Sheesh. So that's kind of my um, little, little goal right now. Although I've trained a lot this week, I think almost 10 hours. So who knows? I think my body's a little bit like, what the fuck's going on? But we're going to get up there. We're going to try our best. So I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to play Wordle. I'm going to do the mini. Then I'm going to eat some patoties and then get changed, and then we're gonna embark on a journey of epic proportions, so we'll see you there. I don't think I gave any closure on yesterday's run. That was a bitch, but we got it done. That's the first time I've done fast 5K intervals, like two, two full ones in forever. I never gave up, I never stopped. I never stopped giving up. No, that's not right. I never, I never didn't give up. No, 
I didn't ever stop not giving up. The second one I did was at like 749 average pace. 5K, so that's phenomenal. If I keep working the speed and I get my distance up and I lose like, I gotta lose a little bit of weight. That's how I'm gonna do 330 at the New York Marathon. That's the plan. I'm gonna start like weighing myself and writing down my weight and tracking calories and shit because like I've noticed that is like the biggest difference maker in speed. It's just the weight that you're carrying around. And right now I've I got a few extra LBs on me. So anyways, time to drink this coffee and have a bowel movement. All right, we're at 12.3 miles. The hurricane rains have started, as you can see. It's basically like I'm running through the eye of the storm. But I mean, that's the, that's the dedication this shit takes. We persevere at all costs. Look at this, torrential downpour. Oh my God. Anyways, I think I'm gonna stop at a half marathon. I underestimated <laughs> how hard 15 miles was gonna be. And I don't wanna get too wet. And I'm gonna shoot a video today, so I gotta get ready. We're doing a half marathon. I haven't done one in a long time. Sub two hours too, it's pretty good. We're at hour 53 right now, running at 810. Negative splits the whole time. So I'd say that's strong, it's progress. Done, 159, 13.1 miles. Good shit. There's the workout. There are the splits. I hope they're negative. Felt like they were negative. 905 average pace, that doesn't make sense. Does it? Ah, whatever. It's pretty good, that's a win for me. Now that makes 12 hours of training this week. 57 miles total. I told you what, like two months ago, I said soon, I did 30 miles in a week and I was like, soon that'll be 50. Well, it is today. It's cool. That's a good feeling. You know, that's what this is all about. Saying something and then trying your hardest to make it happen. It just makes me think about how hard 30 miles a day is gonna be for four days. Oh, fuck, I got a lot of training to do. All right, now I'm gonna go do a, a video where I eat like 20,000 calories of fast food. So stay tuned for that. I think that'll be on my second channel. Thanks for watching this week, guys. Appreciate it very much. Big week. It's a good week. I'm proud of myself this week. So I'll toss me a like if you're if you're proud of me. Mom and dad. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye.